Hi, I'm Jamie Lewis, and welcome back to TheBasis.net. Last week, I joined several other YouTubers like Nathan Navarro and Adam Neely, Warren Hewer, and, and many others to an event called Toman's Gearhead University at Trippendorf, Germany, at the world's largest, I'm not kidding, the world's largest musical instrument store. And while I was there, I had a very unique opportunity to play virtually any piece of gear that you can imagine. I'm not kidding. A name a bass, an amp, a pedal, a piece of outboard gear. And I can almost guarantee you that Toman stocks it in their warehouse of over 90,000 different pieces of gear. So one morning during my stay there, I, I took this as a chance to compare two vastly different instruments. The Squire Bronco bass and a Fodera Monarch four-string bass. And I decided to pit these two instruments against each other in a head-to-head -head competition just to see who would come out on top. So here's what I did. I played identical, I mean identical, musical examples on both basses. One on the, the cheapo, mass-produced beginner's bass, and then again on the high-end boutique, unbelievable bass that's revered and used by so many professional musicians. And I guarantee you're gonna be blown away with the results. So don't go anywhere. I already know you wanna see this. <laughs> So first, let me just talk about the obvious differences between these two basses. The Squire Bronco bass is a production model instrument made overseas with a thin budget in mind. It features a 30-inch scale, a single pickup with volume and tone, and that's pretty much it. Retails for right about $150 US. While the Fodera Monarch standard four-string bass included a slew of premium features like two humbucking pickups with coil taps, a three-band EQ pickup blend, and exotic wood choices like, oh, like this walnut body and poplar burl top, also weighing in with a pretty hefty price tag of about $7,800 US before taxes. And as I said earlier, I played three different contrasting musical examples on both basses and I painstakingly played them as identically as I could so that you wouldn't be biased towards which one you like more or less simply based on my performance. So here's what I'd like to do. I'm gonna play these examples for you and I'm gonna switch back and forth between the Squire bass and the Fodera bass. And in the comment section below, I want you to leave me a message and let me know which bass you liked more for each example. And here's the thing, I really want you to go with your gut here. This is gonna kind of be a, a little bit of a social experiment as well. So I don't want you to, you know, rewind it and pause it and listen back and hmm, which one. I mean, literally, take a listen, grab a piece of paper, and whichever one's jumping out to you, write that one down. And then do the same thing for the next example, the same thing for the next example, and then just leave your answers in the comment section below. And what do I mean by best? Well, that's totally up to you. You decide which one you like more based on its tone, or how it looks, or how it kind of fits into the musical genre that I'm playing. There's, there's no right answers, and there's no wrong answers. I'm genuinely interested in how you perceive the difference of how these two instruments are stacking up against each other. And also, don't worry about what other people are writing in the comment section. In fact, don't even read them. Don't scroll down to the comments until it's time for you to leave your answer, and then don't read any of the other ones until after this video is over, because I want to hear what you have to say. I want to know what you're hearing in these different musical examples, okay? So trust your gut. You can't go wrong. Okay, so hopefully you've got the rules down. Just grab a, a piece of paper and a pen, write a one and a two and a three on it, and then I'll play each example for you. And all I want you to do is write down either Squire or Fodera. After all three are done, leave your answers in the comment section below. And after we've heard all three examples, I'm gonna come back and give you my opinions and we'll compare answers. Hope you're ready, because here we go. Please be sure to listen on quality headphones. The more you know. Right! Just a flesh wound.
buffet. Okay, so like I said before, go ahead and put your answers in the comment section below. And in fact, there's no need to pause this video. I'm going to do it for you, okay? So just scroll down, tell me which base you liked more on example one, example two, and example three, and then click that post button. Now, as I said before, I am genuinely interested in your opinion about how these two bases stack up to each other. So, how do you feel about your answers? Are you confident that your gut told you which bass was the better instrument? Were your, were your answers kind of back and forth between the two, depending on the example? Or did one of those basses win by a landslide? And lastly, did your answers surprise you? Well, here's the thing. I actually have a confession to make about my intentions behind this contest. I lied to you. A what? Now, there was a very specific reason for why I painstakingly performed identical passages on both bases, and it wasn't because I didn't want you to be biased towards one performance or the other. It's actually because I was tricking your ears into hearing something that your eyes weren't seeing. You see, after I had recorded and filmed these examples, in post, I actually swapped the video and the audio so that you saw me playing the Fodera but you heard me playing the Squire. And although you saw me playing the Squire, what you really heard was the Fodera. All right, we're calling it a draw. Like I said, this was actually a social experiment all along, and, and all I wanted to do was to see if I could get your eyes to influence what you're hearing. In other words, did you hear a better bass because you saw me playing the more expensive one? Or were you able to detach those two senses from each other and really listen to it and make the decision purely based on what you were hearing. And even though I told you not to look at the comments sections and read what other people were saying, I'm willing to bet that a lot of you actually did. And I even added another layer of deception by asking my friends Adam Neely and Nathan Navarro to leave comments about what they thought the better bass was. Of course, they were giving you the incorrect answers on purpose. They were in on it the whole entire time. And so I just wanted to see if maybe you would change your answers because you didn't want to feel like the odd man out. So did I get you? Did you fall for it? If you did, it's okay. Because actually our eyes are responsible for a lot of our brain's activity and can heavily influence our decision-making even when those decisions have nothing to do with our eyesight. So. Please don't be mad at me. And also, please don't remove your comments below because that will actually ruin the experiment for anyone watching this in the future. And if you are mad at me, then please send all of your hate mail to either Adam Neely or Nathan Navarro. They are both eagerly awaiting your responses. Right. Well, thanks again for stopping by. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking on this button over here. And if you really like what I do, then come hang out with me at thebassist.net by clicking on this button right here. Also check out The Bassist Podcast. New episodes go live each and every week. And until next time, I'll see you again here at thebassist.net.